हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई वी डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर सो वी आर बैक विद अनदर सी प्लस प्लस वीडियो बट टुडे विल बी नॉट एनी ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो ऑन सी प्लस प्लस टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग एन अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट मींस वी विल बी क्रिएटिंग एन अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग सी प्लस प्लस हाउ टू क्रिएट एन अमेजिंग करेंसी कन्वर्टर प्रोजेक्ट वी विल बी सींग इन दिस वीडियो हेयर आई होप यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड एंजॉइंग दिस वीडियो फ्रॉम स्टार्ट विच वी विल बी कवरिंग अप ऑफ दिस अमेजिंग गेम विच वी आर क्रिएटिंग नॉट अ गेम यू कैन सेड एज अ प्रोजेक्ट करेंसी कन्वर्टर वी विल बी सींग दैट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट यू एस डी इन टू डिफरेंट करेंसीज लाइक वी विल बी कन्वर्टिंग इट टू पी के आर एंड मेनी अदर लाइक यूरोज एंड अदर करेंसीज एज वेल सो दिस विल बी रियली अमेजिंग एंड इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो फॉर यू एंड दिस विल बी अ रियली डिफरेंट करेंसी कन्वर्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड करेंसी कन्वर्टर बट वी हैव क्रिएटेड दैट यूजिंग पाइथन टूडे विल बी क्रिएटिंग इट यूजिंग सी प्लस प्लस इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट वे बिकॉज इन दिस uh currency converter i'll be showing you like if i write 2500 as a usd amount so how to convert it in pkr means pakistani rupees uh currency so for doing that like if you write 2500 and then if you convert it in pakistani currency so it will be showing the answer of that pakistani currency so rupees so today i will be showing you that and i hope you'll be enjoying this video so if you enjoy understand this video remember to hit a like and also subscribe on this channel if you want to see more coming up videos like that so just now what we are waiting for let's move to computer screen and let's get started now we are on the computer screen and we have opened our text editor vs code which we have used in our previous projects as well of c++ so today like i've telling you in a start we will be creating an amazing currency converter project so now we will be starting with that so before creating the project we have to create a c++ file and now you have to give your c++ file name you can give any of the name i will be giving as currency and then you can save it in dot cpp format so we have to save it in c++ i will be writing in the and dot cpp you can write here any name not compulsory to write only currency i have written you can write any other name as well like you can write converter currency converter or what name you want to write you can write here but remember in the end dot cpp is really important to write to save your file as c++ format i will be selecting the location of desktop where i have to save my file and i will be pressing this create file button you can also save it on desktop if you are beginner i'll be prefer you that now after saving the file we have to start working on this file and we have to import some of the things not import we have to include some of the things because in python we import things in c++ we include things and using this hashtag we will be including first tag which will be io stream and in c++ we have used this io stream many times when we are working with tutorial or project because these are the starting codes in c++ now here you can give a space or you can just uh, add no space it's your choice i will be giving a space and then i will be again using this include but this time i will be including a string after including a string we will be including name space std which is another starting code like head now we will be writing init main in which we will be writing all the codes to create this currency converter so i have written init main then i will be first of all using double dollar option in which i will be using a string of currency in which you will be getting the currency of dollar now we will be writing count and i will be writing the name as currency converter because we are creating that so obviously i will be giving the name as currency converter plus backslash n i am writing this backslash n so i can get one line space after this currency converter text which we have written then the user will be getting this uh you can say a input which you will be getting as enter the american dollars you want to convert so here user will be writing the american dollars in number value to convert it in any other currency so here i will be now writing sin and i will be writing as dollar because we have to convert dollar into any other currency then i will be writing here double pound double pound like this equal to dollar and now we have to write the dollar pound price so i will be multiplying it with 0.73 then i will be writing the price of euro and the euro price i will be doing it multiplying by 0.86 and like that i will be moving down and then i will be writing in rupee dollar i will be just multiplying that with 75.13 you can just multiply with the value which you want like if i move on to google if i show you here on the google so here you will be seeing that if i want to convert any american dollar like if i write here use usd to pkr if i write 1 dollar into usd so i can just see we are getting the pakistani rupees 279.09 so i will be copying this value and i will be pasting it so now 
dollar will be multiplied by this value so after writing the rupee we will be getting the value of rupees here that means it will be converting the value into rupees now after doing that we have written this count you can just see and we have to close this so we have closed that now and now the error is gone which we were getting now here i will be writing the value as enter pkr like this you can write for converting usd to pkr like this you can write so i will be writing that then if you want to convert gpb to usd so you can write gpb for usd then here uh, you can just again write here to gbp then for euro you have to write the same thing but just difference will be that the spelling will be changed into euro so i will be writing euro like this now here you have to write backslash n so i will be writing like this so we can get one line space then i will be writing sin as currency then close this function here and now we have to create another if function so we have to check we have closed this or not yes we have closed that uh, we have written count and enter the value okay so here we have not closed that now here after writing this if here in bracket i will be using the tag as currency so i can convert the currency into the value which i want to convert to i will be using pkr value here after writing that i will be writing just count dollar then i will be writing here dollars in rupees so now if you want to convert dollars and rupees you will be getting that and i will be writing as rupee like this now here we have to write else if and in else if i will be writing the value as currency equal to euro and then here i will be moving down count dollar i will be writing here again i will be writing same thing then i will be writing as dollars in euro and you have to just now write equal to like this and now we have to convert it in euro so i will be writing euro in small words move down again here same thing else if and now i will be writing currency equal to gbp like this after doing the thing i will be now moving down and i will be writing count dollar and i will be writing dollars in pounds now we have to convert it in pounds as well so i will be writing in pounds then i will be writing the value as equal to and i will be converting the value in pound like this close it and write else value in else value now the value which i want to convert is that's an invalid input means when the user will be writing any string or any wrong value so the option which you will be getting is this that's an invalid input please try again like this full stop and then close this function as well after doing these all things we have to just run this uh, amazing currency converter to check that it is working or not so we have to just run it by pressing this run code button or you can just write the c++ code run option to run that but i will be using this run button so i will not have to write the running code of c++ just press this run code button after doing that you can just see our currency converter is started running we are not getting it but now we are getting it so it is saying us that enter the american dollars you want to convert now we have to write the american dollars we want to convert in in other currency so i will be writing as 50 after writing the 50 dollars here you have to select the option to create in another currency like for pkr you have to just write here pkr converting usd to pkr if you want to convert it to gbp you have to write gbp to convert it usd from to gpp or if you want to convert it to euro so you can write here eur to convert it in euro so first of all we'll be seeing it by converting in pkr press enter and you can just see 50 dollar in rupees we are getting 13,954.5 it is in rupees you can just see now if you want to convert the same thing in any other currency you can also do that because we are having three currencies in this so we can convert in three currencies so i will be same writing 50 here now we have to convert it in gpp so i will be writing here gpp press enter now 50 dollar in pounds we are getting 36.5 pounds only you can just see so like that you can work on this amazing currency converter you can just see it is showing me the values of the currency which i am converting to if you want to convert in any other currency you can do that just you have to uh, write double and the currency name after that you can multiply dollar with that one dollar and the one dollar currency you can multiply it with the currency on one dollar which you are getting like that so i hope you understand this amazing currency converter which we have successfully created using c this was not really big project because we are starting from start and because of that these are some of the 
amazing and easy projects for beginners that's why i'm working on these projects so i can show you how you can also work with these amazing projects here so if you have understand this video and if you enjoy this project as well so remember to hit a like to this video and if you're new on this channel want to see more videos like that remember to subscribe and after subscribing hit notification bell so more people can learn about these amazing and different things using many other languages as well so just i'll be meeting you next project support today good bye